Click here if you are unable to view this video or photo gallery on your mobile device. Houston, tight end Garrett Selleck 61-yard reception Sunday WASNT just the longest of his 49ers career, he says it's the longest of his life, and it keyed the 49ers go-ahead two-count drive against the Texans. Faced with third and six from the 19-yard line, Jimmy Garoppolo found Selleck wide open across the middle with about a 10-yard pass, which Selleck caught in stride and cut upfield to the Texans' 20-yard line. That route we just put in this week, Selleck said. We probably ran it once or twice in practice, maybe. They dropped all their guys, so right in the middle it was wide open, and Marchie's Goodwin made a great block to kind of spring me. Goodwin took no credit, saying he merely got in the way of a defensive back. But Goodwin confirmed this was a well-planned play, adding this is something Kyle Shanahan had planned out this whole week and we knew that it would work. Selleck capped the drive with a 6-yard two-count catch, putting the 49ers ahead 2,360 en route to their 2,616 win. I thought he was gone for a second. He had the Jets, Garoppolo said of Selleck's 61-yard catch and run. He got a little yards after the catch, which is a QB's best friend. Selleck time, it's a fun thing. The locker room loves it, for sure. Cornerback Dante Johnson got benched in favor of Greg Mabin after a disastrous time covering, or trying to cover, DeAndre Hopkins' 11 catches, 149 yards, 2-2 two -two counts. Mabin came in and answered it very well, Coach Kyle Shanahan said. Dante had a rough drive opening that third quarter. It's tough, he started with an early P.I. on him, and once you get a P.I., you want to stay off him, and you get out of W. Regardless, Dante has done some good things for us this year. I'm excited Mabin came in and got experience that will help him moving forward. Johnson returned to action once fellow starting cornerback Akilo Witherspoon sustained a knee injury with 540 remaining. Shanahan said Witherspoon will undergo an MRI on Monday. Shanahan sensed Saturday night that right tackle Trent Brown would not play for the second time in three games because of a shoulder issue. Zane Beadle started in his place and fared reasonably fine. Beatles and left tackle Joe Staley were the only linemen not to draw a penalty. Lake and Tomlinson got called twice for holding, Daniel Kilgore also drew a holding call, and Brandon Fusco committed a false start. I think all those offensive linemen played great today. I really do, Garoppolo said. You're going to give up some things here and there, but overall it was a phenomenal day for those guys. This was Kyle Shanahan's first game at NRG Stadium some losing in the Super Bowl last February as the Atlanta Falcons offensive coordinator. Shanahan said that DIDNT strike him until he walked on the field pre-game Sunday. Had some real good feelings in that game, not toward the end, Shanahan said, referring to a 283 blown lead. The feelings today were definitely much better, the 49ers fans in attendance made themselves especially heard in the fourth quarter with chance for the red-hot team, 49er Nation, I said it in the locker room, it was loud out there, Garoppolo said. There were a couple 49er chants you heard. This being the first time I've seen that, it's impressive how well they travel. That gives us that much more energy on the sideline, with a career-high 334 passing yards Sunday and 293 last week. Garoppolo's 627 yards are the most by a 49ers quarterback through two starts since the 1970 merger. Robbie Gould made all four of his field goal attempts, including a season-long 52-yarder in the second quarter. He is 3 of 3 from at least 50 yards this season, and he's 76.5% all-time from that distance, the third-best mark in NFL history. DeForest Buckner, Eli Harold and Quan Williams each had a sack. Buckner had two near sacks in the first half, the second of which prompted an intentional grounding penalty. Harold came free off the left edge for his second sack this season and only fifth in 45 career games. Harold also had a tackle for loss on the Texans' first possession. Linebacker Reuben Foster had trainers come and check on him after apparently aggravating a rib injury but he finished the game. Defensive end Aaron Lynch returned from a six-game absence and recovered a fourth-quarter fumble that Adrian Colbert forced against Hopkins. Defensive lineman Tank Carradine also was active after being a healthy scratch last game. Three defensive linemen did not suit up. Defensive end Leger Dowsable, nose tackle DJ Jones, and defensive lineman Ronald Blair. Victor Bolden brought out the opening kickoff to only the 13-yard line. Bolden left with an ankle injury in the second quarter. The 49ers went three and out on their opening possession, the only such series since Garoppolo took over as their quarterback.